And year 11, it's uh, Mr. Green again. I'm take you through the third lesson of topic 2 of year 11 at St. Matthew's in physics, and that is waves. Today we're going to talk about wave speed, and our objective is to be able to measure the speed of a wave and to use the wave equation. Just pause the video and take down that lesson objective as your title, please. Okay, so our learning outcomes is to know what the term wave speed means, to be able to use the wave equation, to be able to describe how to measure the speed of sound waves, and to be able to measure the speed of ripples in water. This is a required practical, we'll be looking at a video of that. Okay, so the wave equation. Um, the wave speed is the speed at which energy is being transferred, so that's essentially the speed of the wave. Wave speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. Again, in that uh, diagram there, we'll see the symbols for it. And the, the symbol for wavelength is lambda. That's the Greek letter lambda. It looks like an upside down Y. And you'll hear it referred to as V equals F lambda. But basically the speed is the frequency times the wavelength. So as an example question, a paddle vibrating up and down in a pool is used to produce waves in the water. The wavelength of each wave is 1.2 meters and exactly two waves are completed every second. Calculate the speed of the wave. So from that question, we can dig out from it that the wavelength is 1.2. And it says two waves are completed every second. That means our frequency is two. From the wave speed equation, frequency times wavelength gives us wave speed, so that would be 2 times 1.2, giving us 2.4, and is its speed meters per second. A wave with a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 7 hertz, and a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, find the wavelength. Just on the right there is your formula triangle. Again, you might want to pause the video and copy that down. So if you're asked to calculate frequency, wavelength, or speed, you can cover that one up and know what the equation is. In this case, we're looking for uh, wavelength. So that would be speed divided by frequency. In this case, speed is 3 times 10 to the 8. Again, that's standard form. That's 3 with 8 zeros after it. And the frequency is 4 times 10 to the 7. Again, standard form, 4 with 7 zeros after it. So that would be 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 4 times 10 to the 7 gives us a final answer of 7.5 meters. To measure the speed of sound, we need to find the frequency and the wavelength of a sound wave. So this is what we do. We set up the equipment as you can see it below. We've got a signal generator and a speaker and we have two microphones. They'd be linked to an oscilloscope and that oscilloscope shows us the uh, frequency and wavelength of the wave. We set the signal generator to a frequency around 1 kHz, about 1000 Hz. If we start with both microwaves next to the speaker, the detected wave at each microwave can be seen as a separate wave on the oscilloscopes. You have microwave, mi microphone 1 and microphone 2. Now we slowly move one microphone away from the speaker. You'll see on the oscilloscope that its wave will shift sideways. We keep moving and keep moving it until the two waves on the oscilloscope are the same again, the same peaks, the same troughs. At this point, the microphones will be one wavelength apart. So what we do is measure the distance between them. That would give us the wavelength, the distance between both of those microphones. The frequency of the wave is equal to the frequency set by the signal generator. So you can pick that up from the signal generator that you've been using. To then calculate the speed, you'd multiply the wavelength by the frequency. Should get a speed of sound of around about 330 meters per second. Again, you want to copy those down, you want to copy those steps down so we know how to measure the speed of sound in A. If you need to rewind the video, please do so to get the first half and then the second half. Okay, two required practicals. One, the ripple tank. Two, observing the waves on the string. I've emailed these two links to the member staff, or you can even type them in here. Uh, they could click on those, and we could watch those videos. So if you want to take those down, click on them and watch the videos. Pause this video while you're doing so.
Okay, so I've got some questions for you here. Questions 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, pause the video, answer the questions. I'll go through the answers with you after you've unpaused. Okay, so question one, calculate the speed of a wave with wavelength of 0.45 meters and frequency of 15. V equals F lambda, so frequency was 15, wavelength was 0.45, multiply them by each other and we get 6.75 meters per second. Question two, the speed of sound in a seawater sample is known to be 1500 meters per second and a sound wave with a frequency of 3 kilohertz is produced underwater. Calculate the wavelength. So in this case, frequency is 3 sorry, 3 kilohertz, that makes 3,000 hertz. Wavelength, if we use our equation triangle, would be speed over frequency. So that's 1,500 divided by 3,000, giving us a wavelength of 0.5 meters. Question 3, a light wave with a wavelength of 7.5 times 10 to the 7 travels at 3 times 10 to the 8. What's its frequency? Again, rearrange the equation. We end up with frequency is speed divided by wavelength. So that's 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 7.5 times 10 to the 7, giving us a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 14 hertz. And finally, question 4. A signal generator is used to connect, uh, connect it to the paddle in a ripple tank is set to 100 hertz. A lamp is used to cast shadows of the ripples onto a screen underneath the ripple tank. And the diagram shows part of the shadow pattern. That's one centimetre that's being shown there, not to scale. Calculate the speed of the ripples. So from the diagram, we should be able to work out the wavelength. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 waves in one centimetre. So, well, 10 waves in one centimetre, sorry. So the wavelength would be 1 centimetre divided by 10, giving us 0 0.1 centimetres. 0.001 meters. Again, remember, we need everything to be converted to meters. 0.1 centimeters would transfer to 0 0.001, 0.001 meters. For our speed, we need the frequency times the wavelength. Frequency was set at 100 times 0.001 gives us 0.1 meters per second. Again, as it says there, make sure your frequency is in hertz and your wavelength is in meters. Okay, you have a second worksheet to attempt. There is a worksheet that is uh, linked alongside this. If you go through those questions, uh, again, review the video if you need to see any extra parts of it, and best of luck. Thanks, Year 11. Goodbye.